Andy Mogul. The meanest man in hockey. Raise your right hand. I swear to perform the duties of a tooth fairy. He's about to discover. Get him into flying school. Oh, you better not know anything. Put me down! In order to succeed. Shrinking pace. Invisibility spray. Nice. You have to believe. The catchphrases for this movie are hilarious. The tooth hurts. You can't handle the tooth. They make me laugh. And why wouldn't The Rock sign on for this movie as family movies have revived his career? If kids love seeing Tim Allen turn into Santa Claus, they're sure to love seeing The Rock turn into the Tooth Fairy. Or will they? The Tooth Fairy only brings you a buck while Santa Claus delivers a treasure trove of toys. And if you're going to get a Santa Claus director, get the guy who did the original, not the far inferior sequels. But with Julie Andrews, Billy Crystal, and the delightful Stephen Merchant also starring, maybe this is a sugary treat that's safe to eat. The Academy Awards are Sunday, March 7th, and Beyond the Trailers got them covered. I'll be giving you in-depth looks at all the major nominations, plus the BTT Oscar vote returns. It all starts February 9th, so mark your calendar, and after the break, we'll find out what audiences think of the Tooth Fairy. Hi, yo. Where was Kevin Brock? Here's our 10-second trailer for Go Tsubashi. Ever since you become a superhero, you just don't make any sense. you go and see the tooth fairy today it sounded like a good story that i would like and i also like dwayne johnson i'd read about it and i saw a promo for it and it was a film that i knew my husband wouldn't go see and i was here in new york and i had to hang around for a couple of hours so i came by and i thought i'll go see that was it worth sneaking into it really was oh excellent really was, so he's yeah. missing out huh he's missing out no he really <laughs> wouldn't like it why do you like the rocks movies um because it looks like he plays good parts, and then he can deliver his lines very well and get into a story. You know, he's an amazing actor. I mean, he's really an actor. He, he sort of has this patina of The Rock, but he's more Dwayne than he is The mm. Rock. Well, do you like him better making these family movies, like Race to Witch Mountain and The Game Plan? I love family movies. Oh, so he does a good job on that? Yes, he certainly does. Do you see all The Rock's movies, or no. just his family movies? No, no, or? no. no. It's the first one I've ever seen. Oh, before. really? Oh, okay. So, so you converted? Or do you, are you a fan I don't, now? I don't know that it's a conversion, but I think he's a good actor. Would you see him in his action movies, or do you like him better here? I'll see him in his action movies. I haven't seen him, but I'll try one just to see him act in it. I would like to see The Rock, Dwayne, do some, do some more stuff, but some serious stuff, and not just taking off on himself. Yep. I think it's a good next step for him. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I'd give it a... Eight. I'd say an eight. Sounds like The Rock now has a solid trilogy of family films as audiences give The Tooth Fairy an eight. Let's hope he just doesn't find himself stuck in a rut. And be sure to check out Indie Mogul's latest show, Movie Buzz, which you can find right here at this link. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AM Sampire 25, and you've just gone beyond the trailer.